Hello. Hello. I'm a case. And I'm Odyssey. And today we are looking at a fantastic plugin that indeed was created by Xhawk87. Um and it is called Create Your Own Menus. Yes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at how the plugin works and uh, create a few examples of how how useful it could be in different situations. And it certainly is a very, very useful mod. And for people um, who host uh, bucket servers, this is going to be perfect for, for people like you. Exactly. Uh, right. So if we want to just have a quick look, if I just go slash uh, menu, then those are all the commands. Well, those are most of the commands. And um, Yep. OK, so if you do slash menu uh, list to list all the menus. Are you doing that? Uh, no. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, you can do slash menu list, and here are all the menus that we have created. Just quickly testing out the mod, and uh, shall we do an example to begin with? Yep, yep. All so right. So if we do uh, menu open time setter then this little thing will open, and I've put three different clocks inside, and as you might imagine, this one, if you click it, will set everything to daytime. This one will set it to nighttime, and this one, set particular time, and it prompts you, as you can see in the bottom, please enter a valid time, so if I put something like 6,000, then midday. it sets to midday. Lovely. Indeed. And also, I'll, I'll just show this command right now. If I wanted to go menu grab, and what was it called? Time setter. Time setter. One word. Oh, yeah. One word. Then it puts all that in my inventory, and if I right click them... Then the uh, same thing happens. See? Over there. Oh, enter valid time. Oh no! Uh, 12,000. Over there. Yep. And that one, which sets it at 12,000, so <laughs> right over there. OK, yep. so that's that's a useful yeah, thing. That's just a quick example of the kind of thing that you can do. Of course, there are many, many more uses in this plugin for lots of different things. It's not just the time. And we're going to go through and find out what we can do. Exactly. So if we want to create our own one, then what we have to do is um, let's get an item first. Let's just so, set it back today. There we go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, I'm going to grab any item. Uh, it's going to be an iron ore block. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just going to copy what you're doing. Okay. And I hold the iron ore block in my hand, and I go slash menu script, and then I give it the command that I want to do. So if I wanted the uh, the console to say something, then what's the command for that? Is it slash, slash say, say? or I think, or is it? Tell, oh, no, it's say. I think I think it's, I think it's say. say. Yeah, right. yeah. And then uh, we we go iron or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Got to make this amusing, damn it! Right, <laughs> at least for myself. Right. right. So I do that, and if I hover over it now, it says say iron ore or what. Now I can hide that if I go slash menu script, script hide. hide. That now it doesn't say anything at all. Indeed. And if I wanted to say just a random thing, uh, you know, uh, give it some kind of a title or something, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then you can go menu script and then write anything you want. So on this we're yeah. going to say um, iron can talk. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now and also one more thing is um, any of these items you can put in the anvil. That's why we have the anvil here. You can just yep. rename it and. Uh, Oops. <laughs> special iron. There we go. And when you click it, iron or what? There you go. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Right now, if I go, if I create a menu, so I go slash. Oops. Menu. Create. And I've got to put the ID of the menu I want to create. So what should we call this one? Iron. <laughs> Iron, that seems fair. Yep. Um, we'll give it one row, which is a column. Which way is, which way is a, a row and which way is a column? No, it's a remember. row, so that gives it nine <laughs> slots, as you'll nine see slots. in a moment. Yeah, in fact, I'm going, to, I'm going to give it two, just for fun. Okay. There's no reason to do that, but I'm going to give it two. 
and the last one is what the title is at the, at the very top. So the Iron Can Talk Again. Iron Can Iron, Talk Again. Iron Can Talk Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we go. I've created that. Okay, so now if I go into menu, uh, edit, and then what did you call it? Just Iron. Yep. All right. Then it opens up this, and it says Iron Can Talk Again, and there are two rows, as you can see. So if you just want a few uh, items to put in, then you can do one row, and that will give you nine different cells to put things in. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what I can do, seeing as I've put, I've, um, I'm editing this menu now, I can place whatever I want in. In this case, it's the special iron, and you can esc out of that. And now, if you do menu um, grab and iron, then I get it back in my inventory. And I can click it and it says iron or what? So of course that wasn't the uh, the most useful of, no. uh, of uh, examples to show, but it's just um, it's showing the different commands that go through uh, the process of making a, a menu like this. Exactly, and there are some some reasons where this could be really really useful. Example: if you were hosting some kind of PvP game and say you're all in the starting area and you want the game to begin then what you should do, what you could do, is have an item that gives everyone a whole load of starting gear. So if we look at the menu list I had earlier we can see that I've got a couple of, oops, a couple of lists over here there is gear set and starting gear. Now I'm using both of those what I do is if I go menu grab and gear set, or is it set gear? Gear set. I now have this in my inventory and what it does, as you can see there, it says um, slash menu grab uh, at A, which is everyone, at all, and starting gear. So it grabs, for everyone, it grabs all the items that are in starting gear. So if I go over here and click that, I get all the items with it that were in that menu. And so do I, because yep. it was sent to everyone. So that's a really good way of just um, starting everyone off, like you said, in a, um, it could be an automated thing even, or if you have a moderator then who's just looking over it, then um, they can just um, set the command when the game begins and everyone will have all the stuff they need. Yep, and I just, just want to um, quickly finish off that. Um, if I have a quick look, menu open in starting gear, then we will see that those are all the items that I I now own. Yeah. I just I just put them in there, and that has given that to everyone. Exactly. So that's an example of where you don't need to put uh, particular items with commands in the menus, like we did before with the iron. They can be just normal normal things like steak and leather boots, but um, they could be accessed via something like what you've just done, where it just gives everyone ar uh, armor and items to begin a fight. Exactly. So that is not the only thing that's useful, so what else is there? Okay, well, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we do um, menu grab, what should I do? Uh, converge. So if I do menu grab converge, then it gives me a hopper called converge. And if I hover over it, it says this will teleport everyone in the world to you. Now, currently, I'm the only person in this world, but however many people, this is what happens. If I click it, uh, uh, I'm in your face. Everyone zooms to you, including yourself, apparently, but that's, uh, that's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's another example. And um, of course, as always, you can just open it up as usual, have it in the menu, and click it and it happens again. So, so that could be very useful in things like um, uh, say in a UHC if, if, if people are getting out of hand or something then you can teleport them all into one location yeah. and uh, say like you know, when you're starting up and uh, people are rushing around and messing about and maybe some people escape the starting area or something like that exactly. you can just teleport everyone to one handy spot yeah. so that's really useful. And on the flip side of that um, of course we don't have this is just vanilla at the moment apart from the Create Your Own Menus plugin. If we did have another plugin for instance the Ultra Hardcore plugin then we could do a whole bunch of other uh, commands for instance scattering. 
at the beginning of a mm. UHC. You could just yep. put it in a menu and then activate it when you want, and it's there. It's done. And it, uh, it makes it very, very clean and quick and simple. Yep. So how about you open another one? Try Teams. Try doing okay, so slash menu. Slash menu open Teams. Okay. Okay, so I've got two walls here. Do you want to describe what's going on here? Okay, so this is just an example of something I was, I was playing around with. For those of you who don't know, uh, on our channel we often do UHC casts, where we just uh, commentate over lots and lots of UHCs that are going on. And um, this is the kind of thing that I would find really useful in something like that. Uh, you could have a, a will block or anything you want, really, for each team uh, or each player. And when you hover over it, you could um, instantly see kind of updates on how they're doing. So, for instance, in Team 1, I put Fully Armored, Bows and Arrows, Enchanted, Enchanted Armor and Swords, uh, Fire Aspect Diamond Sword, just little tips like that for if you've you know, if you need to remember quickly where a certain team is at, uh, what their their status is, and at any time you can just do, um, you can update it to menu script with it hovered over the red wheel, and then say dead. Yeah, so you can update it uh, at any time during the match. Like if you if you can see, I've hovered over team one, and it now says dead. So. You can just update it with uh, menu script and then add whatever you want to it. And you can do that, like I said, with any of the teams. And what's more, you can also add a different command to it so that if you right-click on the world, then it will instantly teleport you to that team, uh, which can be very useful. Of course, let's just set it today. Of course, at the moment, the only two people in are me and Edcase, but... Um, if I use the red world, then it'll teleport me to Edcase, but it could be to Team 1. And if I uh, use Team 2, it'll teleport me to myself. But of course, that could be Team 2. It could be anyone. So it's yeah. a handy way of just getting through, getting round the world, teleporting to different players, that sort of thing. Yeah. Now, one extra thing um, that I'm just going to show quickly, because uh, we showed at the beginning the, the time setter, Oop, time setter menu that I created. And there was the set particular time uh, item, and if you click on it, it prompts you for a certain time, which is very useful. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. So if we get another clock, oop, that's the wrong place, a clock, and uh, let's name it Clocky Clock. And you do menu script, this will prompt you for a time. And then you do menu script, and then you put in the, the command, so time set, and then if you want it to prompt, then do curly brackets, and inside the curly brackets you put something like a valid time, um, because that's just what it's going to, to tell you, that's what it's going to prompt you for. So if I click that, I can hide the script. So Clocky clock, this will prompt you for a time, and if you click it, please enter a valid time. And you can put it to whatever you want. Night time. Fantastic. Indeed. So, I mean, yeah, that's there's a whole load of things that are possible, and, and, and you can play around and, and find them out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just think that it's a fantastic plugin that, that a lot of people will find really useful. Yeah, is this incredibly versatile? You can just use it for so many different things. And you can just suit it, you know, for your own um, uses. Mm. So we've been playing around with this mod for just a couple of days. We don't know everything about it, but I think we've given off a, a good idea of how to use it. Um, but if you want to find out more, then um, we will have links in the description of where to get the mod and where more information on the, the sorry plugin is. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, thank you for watching. This has been our very first plug-in spotlight, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it's been informative. Thank you for watching. I've been a case, and I've been Odyssey, and this has been Xhawk 87's uh, create, create your own, own menu. Menus yeah, let's say it at the same time. Create <laughs> your own menus plugin. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.